Today on the pageant cast, we have Corianne Strupp. She's Miss Wisconsin Collegiate America 2013. She came out here to the TKPN studios. Let's see our interview with Corianne Strupp today on the pageant cast. Welcome to the Pageant Cast, your home for beauty pageant news and interviews on the internet. Hi, I'm Chrissy Zamora, Miss Wisconsin USA 2013, and you're watching the Pageant Cast, the internet's first podcast about beauty pageants. Here's your host, Tim Kretschman. This is the Pageant Cast, and we're here today with Corey Ann Strupp. She is Miss Wisconsin Collegiate America 2013. Welcome to the TKPN Studios. Thanks for having me here today. So glad to have you here. Now, I have a lot to ask you because I don't know a lot about the collegiate system yet. Uh, what are the different phases of competition? We have interview, which is by far the most important. It's weighted a little bit higher. Mm -hmm. And then, like many pageants, we have the evening gown. And one thing that's a little bit different is our fun fashion category. Okay. And I know your divisions, it isn't miss and teen it's a little bit different can you explain that we are based on where we are at in our schooling so we have a junior high school high school and collegiate level now you just came back from nationals right it was I did. A little, okay mm -hmm. now how long was nationals i actually drove down with my family so i was okay. down there about two weeks but nationals itself was about a week okay and and it was held in florida right mm -hmm. yeah Orlando. Okay. What, what was your favorite thing doing down there while you were there? Before the pageant. <laughs> Before the pageant, I actually went with my family to SeaWorld and we had an interaction with the beluga whales. Oh. So that was a really cool thing we did as a family. Okay. Well, that's fantastic. Now, um, <laughs> have you always been interested in the sea or this was just something because you're at SeaWorld? Um, I guess I've always loved the ocean, but it was a really cool thing being at SeaWorld to be able to do something that's oh, kind absolutely. of a once in a lifetime experience. Yeah, it certainly is, unless you're, you know, in some portions of Wisconsin, we do have beluga whale runs on the Mississippi River. They just, they go up and... Wow, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's a total lie. Uh, but... <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so, so. I don't think so. <laughs> so now I want to make sure I get this right. You got the Amber Smith Outstanding Community Service Award, correct? Yes, I did. Okay, what was that all about? How do you get that? Okay, so throughout the year we were collecting our appearances and our community service hours. By combining that throughout the year, I had over 80 appearances total so far. And at the point of the pageant, I believe I had exactly 75. And that was the mm. most out of the collegiate girls. So five girls were awarded for their service. And then the Amber Smith Award is the highest that you can receive. You're in a lot Boston? of mine was based with our platform, The Crown Cares, so okay. creating a respectful environment in school is something that I really took to heart. Now, does that have anything to do with that book that you brought along? It does. Well, get visual aid. Okay. There it is. <laughs> what, what is the book about? The book is called Friends for Keeps, and it's based on true experiences, and it goes along very well with our platform. It's a relatable way for kids and their support systems and really for anybody to learn how to stand up for themselves and to stand up for others. And where can people get that? Uh, someplace online? Or? The easiest way is probably Amazon.com. It's also available through Bryson Taylor Publishing or you can email me directly and I'm sure Tim could connect you with a link if need be. Yeah, we'll get some links for the show mm -hmm. notes. When you go to pageantcast.com and watch this, we'll have that all underneath there. We're going to take a quick break. We're going to come back with more with Corianne Strump from the Collegiate Programs. She's coming up next in just a few moments. So don't go anywhere. Welcome to the Pageant Cast, your home for beauty pageant news and interviews on the internet.
Welcome to the pageant cast in Hamilton, Montana. As you can see, we're here in beautiful mountain country as we cover this year's America's Super Miz pageants here in Hamilton. We're going to be at the Hamilton High School Performing Arts Center. Uh, I record this the morning of a beautiful day out here in Montana, and we have so many beautiful participants. Can't wait to show you more about this pageant system in the episode that are coming up very very soon you won't want to miss a single one of them so make sure you tune in to the pageant cast for all of our America's super pageant coverage pageant cast back with Corianne Strub. She is Miss Wisconsin Collegiate America 2013. Is there a Collegiate Europe? There is not, but we had a Canada this year. Oh, you did have a Canada. We did have Canada. Okay, so they came down. Did they get lost or they just... <laughs> There, so it's we're branching hoping, out. We're hoping to have an international pageant at some point, so we are reaching out and... Now there's a lot of pageant systems out there. What made you choose the Collegiate system? I really like the platform, but I guess I just ran into the pageant, and it was something that I was really interested in, and it happened to be a really great fit. I uh, have you been involved in other pageants? Have you had pageants, as I like to call them, <laughs> past pageant experience? Um, I actually started out as a local fire queen, and I tried a few other pageant systems, but this one has by far been a really great experience. Now, as a fire queen, you went around and started fires at random. Yes, Obviously, no? that's the purpose, Tim. Okay, I, th I thought so. <laughs> fire prevention. I learned things. <laughs> no, fire prevention. Yeah. So on July 4th, you just, yeah, you're just you going crazy. You, I'm going some, crazy, absolutely. Yeah, I can't go, handle it. Put down that sparkler. <laughs> what are you thinking? Where are your fire alarms? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Now, do you make sure that on daylight savings time, you always go through and change all the batteries? Yeah. Yeah. That's my job, too. <laughs> yeah. So, tell me what publications and websites you check out to learn more about pageants. I think some of the best ones are obviously Facebook and Twitter, just because yeah. they're so well known and everybody right. uses them. Right. Absolutely. And you, you have active accounts on both. I do. Right? Yeah. And very active. <laughs> Hmm? Well, with 80 plus appearances, I think so. Yeah, that, that keeps you busy. I, I know Lots I've been following, pictures. and there are a lot of pictures, a lot of pictures. Always and updated. Tell me, I'm going to give you a, like 30 seconds, okay? I want you to look into that camera and tell, you don't have to time it. I'm just going to round it off. <laughs> I have a very difficult to work with camera person today, okay. so we'll, we'll just, we'll deal with it. Okay, anyway, I want you to look right into that camera and talk to our listeners directly and our, our viewers. I did radio for too long. Talk to our <laughs> viewers and, and tell them what you liked most about the collegiate pageant. I think, like I mentioned before, the platform is something that's really near and dear to my heart. Having been through bullying situations in my life, it's been amazing to be able to be the change in somebody else's life, whether it's at a library, an elementary school, or really any appearance. Um, there's so many ways and opportunities to reach out to people and make a difference in their life and let them know that they have the ability to stand up for themselves and stand up for others. Fantastic. How, how do we do on time? You didn't even uh, check now. See, <laughs> see, this is what I'm talking about. Good help. Anyway, <laughs> I, I want to thank you for coming out because we're really in your last month, right? We are. We're right near the tail end. Okay, and actually the Wisconsin pageant is held in Minnesota. It is. In Minnesota with Minnesota because they, they're they both together. So mm -hmm. if you see Miss Wisconsin going to Minnesota, she isn't attacking <laughs> or, or trying to take over that no. there's actually a legitimate need for her to give up your crown now is there going to be problems with you giving up the crown 
No, it won't be a problem. It won't be a I've security risk? I've had a little over a year this time, so. Okay. All right. Well, that's good. And, uh, a little bit extra time to say goodbye. Yeah, fantastic. Well, thank you so much for coming out. We really appreciate it, and uh, we wish you the best of luck and success. Thank you so much, Tim. Pageantcast.